Svalbard sits high above the Arctic Circle. It is still winter. The sun will not rise above the horizon for another three weeks, and yet the ice is melting. Snowmobiles lie in muddy meltwater. During the past 30 days, temperatures have soared 10 degrees Celsius above average. Weather station data suggests the temperature even got above freezing at the North Pole. We've seen these what are called winter warming events before, um, but what we know is they're becoming more common um, and they're lasting longer and they're becoming more intense as well. Warm, low-pressure systems are being drawn into the Arctic. At the same time, winter sea ice cover is at its lowest since records began. The ocean stores huge amounts of heat, and as soon as you remove that sea ice, then this heat can essentially be uh, uh, transferred into the atmosphere. And so we think these lows are now sort of gaining some additional heat. The warm Arctic weather coincides with an unusually severe cold snap across Europe. In Ukraine, the severe weather has caused blackouts. Snow has covered Rome's Colosseum. A theory known as warm Arctic cold continents suggests the winds that circulate the Arctic and normally keep it cold become unstable. Warm air is taken in and cold air expelled into lower latitudes. Is this loss of sea ice and this rapid warming we're seeing in the Arctic making the likelihood of these cold snaps in, in Europe, say, more common. And that's kind of the more contentious issue here. Um, unfortunately, we just don't have many years of data here. 30 kilometres up, there has also been what is called a stratospheric sudden warming, which is having a big influence on the weather. Essentially, it, it perturbs the jet stream, which is sort of a, you know, the, the wind of high, this core of high winds that go around the earth. And so that perturbed jet stream is now leading to Europe being under the influence of easterly winds from Siberia. Short term, the plunging temperatures have caused travel chaos. Longer term, the impact, though not yet fully understood, could be far more profound for the whole planet. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.